Hi everyone, it's Adrian. Today I have an unboxing. This deck, as well as the deck that I'll be filming after this, have came at a very significant time in my life where I've reached many milestones in different areas. Also, I connected to them naturally, and especially connecting to them on a personal level, where some of the symbols really struck me because it, it connects to my personal life, if that makes sense. So, for this video, I'm unboxing the Terror of the Crone. I did take it out of its packaging and the wrap, so this is the box. And it did come with other things too. So to wrap the bubble wrap, they stuck this on and it's the Fool. I may put it somewhere. This is a magnet, the Three of Wands. A raffle ticket, number 105, and a postcard, the Witch of Swords. That's great, because I am a swords person, or I'm a Libra, so that's great. On the back, it says, inspired by the Ancient Holy One, she is the grandmother, witch, and hag. She has been ignored, or trivialized because she holds powers that others others may fear or deny powers of time and transformation of death and shadow of wisdom and pain of magic and wonder so this is the 2017 copyright this is the third edition by the way and um a little off topic i i'm sorry i'm just itchy i got the three of wands in another deck the dame darcy so Maybe it's one of my cards. I do relate to the Three of Wands a lot too. And if you want to see the sides of the of the um, box, it opens up like this. So it's bigger than a regular tarot deck with wise but it's, it is shorter and this is the booklet it has 86 pages I believe well it says 85 but then there's a backing to this so I'll say 86 I'm pretty sure that's what it said on the website with Love for Love, Ellen. I've been wanting this deck, but it wasn't available when I wanted to purchase it, but then it got, uh, the third edition came out and I made a pre-order. I wasn't expecting to get this because I got a random email saying that my package has shipped. So I had to think for a second. But she did dedicate this deck to Hecate, and it has the Ace of Wands on here. And you can see her website. I'll briefly go through the booklet. So it says about the crone, about the deck. It has color meanings in here. So I'll show some of the pages. And the booklet is in color, so that's really nice. There is a poem for the cards in both the majors and minors. The pages are really smooth. Some of the names of the cards are changed. I saw this deck on eBay a while ago, and it was a bidding war. It went on for a long time, so I didn't, I didn't want to get into that. I'm so happy that she made, she republished it. Is that what it's called? So for the miners, she has the elements, the numbers for the numerology, and the faces, which would be the court cards and they are different too. 
for the Beast Witch, Grandmother, and Shadow. And that's one of the um, why am I drawing a blank? This is for the cups. And I'll let you guys see the other pictures for the rest of the suits. That's it. That's what it is. So again, this is the book. I haven't looked at this, the first or second edition unboxing, so I don't know if it's different or the same. I'm sorry if you've seen this before. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the cards. never get this open on film. So the cardstock is thinner. The backings are black. I believe the other backings for the the second edition or the first edition were spider webs, which I don't mind the black backings, but I was going to say for one of the personal uh, relations that I have with the deck or um, how it relates to me on a personal level is the animal or the insect spider or arachnid because that's one of my animal totems or totems that's cool for the deck publishings the cardstock is thinner, as I said. I think I'm going to shuffle them and then I'll show you some of the cards because I like to see cards from different suits if people don't show all the cards. So it is comfortable to shuffle. And I I do like to do now oh, what's this one? The nine of wands. makes sense for right now. Uh, as I said, I do like to drop it like this, so I don't bend the cards too much, but I, I do like how it shuffles. Now I'll show the cards. And look, it stopped at the Witch's Swords. How cool. I'm pretty sure that that's the Queen of Swords, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I saw online, but then it says um, it's at the place of the Knight of, of Swords, where the Knight of Swords would be when they were listing it. So I'd have to double check on that. I don't want to give any false information, and I hope I don't sound stupid, but um, that would be really awesome. 
That's an interesting one. I'm sorry, I went really fast with the cards. But if you didn't see. I'm gonna check in the booklet real quick. Maybe I made a mistake on the court cards. Because they don't, they don't um, sound like they're specifically those court cards. Because it does talk about the element. But again, I'll look into that. I really love the faces of the women in here. I think I'll do about half of the cards. And I love the coloring because the colors aren't so bright, but there is a contrast for the bright colors, especially green. Green's my favorite color and purple. I love purple. love the spider totem and that's what I've been doing a lot with my life lately making a lot of decisions and having that independent energy and also gaining maturity and uh, with my career learning more things even with my education continuing my education in my career path I hope I'm not going too fast. Is that about half of it? I'll, I'll show a couple more. Because my phone keeps saying to that filming might heat up my phone while I'm charging. And I'll stop at the crossroads. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too much of a, a boring video, but I really enjoyed looking at the deck and I'm going to be working with it like after I stop filming. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.